the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There always has been problems in the church, and there always will be. But thank God that the apostles had the courage to get together in Jerusalem and resolve the issue of whether Gentiles should be allowed in or not. And of course they made the decision that we're all one in Christ Jesus. And uh, it, it was a great decision. And uh, all the councils of the church really have made great decisions. The last major council was Vatican II. It was a pastoral council. You had Vatican I, uh, which was a very small council. The Council of Trent was a great council and it, a it answered all the the attacks by the reformers and really did so in great detail and I think we should study the Council of Trent in great detail to understand our faith today because it is it is very very good and the, the beautiful gospel we have today is continuation of yesterday's gospel uh, the vine and the branches and Jesus spoke these words at the Last Supper and he's telling us that if we love him we will keep his commandments and the commandments are not burdensome they're there to help us live a full life. And if we could get the whole world to keep the commandments, we'd have a wonderful world. And you can boil them down to two. Love God and love neighbor. And if we have the love of Jesus in our hearts, then we also have the joy. And it's very important that Christians have joy. You know, the old saying, if you have the love of Jesus in your heart, don't forget to tell your face. But sometimes I think, uh, you know, uh, Christians give the impression that they're mad with the world and they're God's policemen. Like some of the right-wing preachers, man, uh, you, you never convince them of love or joy, or at least they don't come across that way. And I think sometimes they give Christians a bad name. Mahatma Gandhi said it well when he said, I like your Christ, but I hate your Christians. And people said of the early Christians, see how they love one another. And that's really the bottom line. I hope people can say of the people of Most Holy Trinity, see how they love one another. That's the bottom line. It really is about love, and that's the only thing that really matters. And, and in families, that's the only thing that matters. That's the only thing that matters in life, is love. And, and where there is love, there is God. So may we do our best to love and to show the joy of Jesus in our face. Amen.